Sometimes Hallover can be a little deceiving, like right here you think everything's okay and all of a sudden Hallover smacks you in the face when you're not looking. Welcome back guys, it is your host Broncos Guru, along with our boy Wavy Boats down on the inlet getting us the images, and it's this week's episode of Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine do battle with Mother Nature at Hallover Inlet down in Miami, Florida. Our first boater to do battle with Hallover Inlet this week is going to show us what it's like when you take Hallover like a Renegade, just like they're taking Hallover in this twin engine Renegade here. These guys actually look okay coming out of the gate, they're keeping their speed up, and my man's on the throttle just a little bit too much. When I say that, he's not going too fast, but he's altering his speed an awful lot here, when really this boat was designed more just to stay on plane and try and keep the nose up. For some reason, his boat's being a little bow heavy though, which is causing them to stuff the bow into the waves in front of them a lot here, and they're taking a lot of water into the cockpit. I'm actually going to go ahead and give this round to Hallover Inlet, even though they really didn't do that bad, but the amount of water they're going to have in this boat at the end, Hallover definitely won. When you got a big enough boat and enough horsepower on the back, Hallover becomes a little bit more of a joy ride, and some of these guys just go through here just for the joy of doing it. Kind of like this vessel right here. With quad motors on the back, massive beam, and a lot of weight, this boat can basically just plow its way through Hallover. It doesn't matter what the conditions are. Obviously here, they made it out pretty flawlessly, so that will mean this ram will absolutely go to the boats as they flew right through Hallover. Not every ride through Hallover is a joy ride though, but you can tell the people who went out there thinking it was going to be them because they usually put people in the bow of the boat kind of like right here and they figure out really quickly sometimes that that's not a good idea. Don't get me wrong, this is still a pretty big boat. This is a 30 foot boat right here, so this is not a small boat by any stretch of the means, but Hallover just gets so nasty at low tide that it can even make a 30 foot boat like this just feel small. Here you can see this lady scrambling to get back toward the console to try and soften the blow of this rough ride, but right here we can tell this round's definitely going to Hallover. Over. I always enjoy doing these comparison videos. The next boat we're going to see is actually very similar in size to the last boat, but they're going to have a very different result as they come through Hallover. Don't get me wrong, we're comparing two different things here. These guys got a following seat, the other boat was going into a head seat, but these guys nail it, throttle down, come barreling through Hallover, and easily take a win for the boats compared to our last boat. And that's going to take us into the fifth and final round, tied it to a piece. Let's see who gets the win this week. Will it be the boats or Hallover Inlet? We're going to play one of my favorite games, Can They Hang On? Here, this Boston Whaler is coming out of the inlet and actually looks really solid. They've got the speed at just about the right pace and almost look like they found that sweet spot. But once again, you can tell these guys are out joyriding because they've got people in the very front of the bow who thought this was going to be a good idea just to go out there and hang out in Hallover. And as we mentioned earlier in the video, once you start getting a little complacent with Hallover, she'll strike you back just right when you're not paying attention like right now look at the two people on the bow of this boat they are taking an absolute tail kicking the girlfriend basically lands on the boyfriend he does everything he can to try and catch her and hold her down but basically Holliver's just having her way with them let me know who you think won this one i'm not quite sure how to vote this because the boat actually did a pretty good job coming out but these people kind of held it up let me know in the comments below who won the fifth round and the episode boats or Hallover. kind of like we did last week from this video clip here where the boats wound up winning last week i want to thank all of our featured voters right here who took the time to vote last week and we'll feature a few of you next week who voted in this week's episode and we thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to check out our other two channels we have wavy boats who gets us all this great footage from Hallover inlet and then we have my channel broncos guru where we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well and if you haven't already drop an anchor on the subscribe button